Welcome to part 2 of the enemy series. If you didn't watch the first part, make sure to check that first. In this part we are going to make the enemy a little smarter, add health to our player and make sure the player get damage. Let's continue. So where we left off, we had a few enemies which have the health script and the player can shoot them. The first thing we're going to do is to let the enemies check the distance to the player and if it's in range then the enemy can attack. Uh, so open up the attack player script and here in the update we do the move function so we write an if statement around it and we check the vector 3 dot distance and then you have to say two objects so between the transform position and the player dot position and if this number is smaller than uh, let's say attack distance And it's red because we didn't make it. So you make a public float with the attack distance, and let's say it's around 5. So if the distance between the player and the enemy is smaller than 5, the attack distance, then it should move towards it. And we don't need it. We don't need the else statement because then the enemy should just stand still. If we test this, we can see that the enemy is still and when we're in range, it will follow us. It seems 5 is a bit small, so we need to make that larger. Maybe around 15 or something like that. So this works. Now we want to add health to our player. We already have a health script, so we can reuse that. Add the health script to our player. But if you look into it, we can see that if the health is below zero, it will destroy the game object. But we don't want to destroy it, we want to reload the scene. So what we're going to do is you make a boolean, so a true or false statement with is player. So if this script is attached to the player, we can check this. And we set it to false as default. And if the health is below zero, we want to check if this is the player. And if it's not the player, We want to just destroy it as normal. But if it's is the player, we want the scene to reload. So we use application dot load scene uh, load level, and the number is zero. Oh, we forgot to make it public. If you now save it, then we should get a checkbox. Yes, so on the player, we need to check is player, and on all the enemies, we just leave it unchecked. So now we use the same script for the enemy and the player. Let's see if it still works. So when the enemy hit us, we reload the scene, but when we shoot it, it still dies. The load scene takes a moment, I'm not sure why that is. But it is working. When we hit the enemy, the scene now reloads immediately. But we want to remove some health from the player before we do that. Otherwise it would be very difficult to play the game. We already have a sort of function that does that in the attack player. Here we check if we hit something and if it's the player we hit, we want the application to load. But we want to get the component of the player with the health script. and execute the remove health function 
So we did this before. In here. With the raycast. So we do the same here. In this section we don't use a raycast. But we use a collider. So we can use this other. So to execute the function. We first write other. Dot. Transform. Dot. Get component. The component is health script. And then we want to execute the function. Which is remove health. And we make a new variable. Which will be the tech damage. And let's say that's around 35. So within 3 hits the player dies. We send that variable through the function. So if we hit the player, we want to execute the health script from it. The function in the health script, which will be remove health. And we remove the health by the amount we sent. And if the health is below zero, and it is the player, we reload the scene. And if it's not the player, so in this case the enemy, it will destroy it. So let's see if this works. There goes the enemy. And if we hit the enemy, we get some damage. But the enemy is still here. So we want to remove that first. So in the attack player, where the enemy hits the player. After we deal damage to the player, we want the enemy to remove. And for this we use destroy and between the brackets game objects game object to reference to itself so this will destroy this own game object and the tech player is attached to the enemies so it will remove itself there is and if we hit pause and check the player's health, we can see it's dropped to 65. So if we hit two more, it still reloads the scene as normal. So we now have a attack range for the enemies and we added health to our player. If you like this tutorial, please hit the thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe. If you got any questions or just want to say something, please write it down in the comments below. All support is welcome, it helps me a bunch. If you don't want to miss upcoming videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you soon in the next tutorial. Bye guys!